Hello, and welcome to Cal Poly. This video will show you how to set up multi-factor authentication on your Cal Poly account. Multi-factor authentication is a security method that requires two or more forms, also called factors, of authentication to verify your identity so you can a resource. Usually, the first form of verification is entering your password, and the second form can be a code sent via text or push notification, a code generated by a security token, or your fingerprint with Touch ID on your computer. Cal Poly students are required to use an MFA app called Duo when logging into any web-based resource that requires a username and password. This includes the Cal Poly portal, Canvas, which is our learning management system, email and calendar, and more. With passwords becoming increasingly easy to compromise, MFA adds another layer of protection to your Cal Poly account, making it much more difficult for unauthorized people to gain access. You can select the authentication method that's right for you and change it at, at any time. Authentication methods include a push notification through an app on your smartphone or tablet, a phone call to a smartphone or landline, a passcode sent to your mobile device, a passcode sent to a security token, which can be checked out from the ITS service desk, touch ID on computers that have that function, or a security key that you can purchase. There are a few steps you have to take when setting up MFA for the first time on your Cal Poly account. Let's walk through how to set up your mobile device for Duo MFA. We recommend using a mobile device, but there are plenty of other options if you don't have one. Once you become an admitted student in Cal Poly's database, you'll see a prompt asking you to set up MFA while logging into the Cal Poly portal. To begin, click the green Start Setup button. Next, you'll need to select what kind of device you'll be using to authenticate your identity when you log into Cal Poly Technology Resources. Once you've made your selection, click Continue. If you chose Mobile Device, you'll then have to enter your phone number and click continue. Next, you'll select what type of phone you have and click continue. Now, you need to install the Duo mobile app on your mobile device. Open the App Store or Google Play Store and search for Duo Mobile. Once you've downloaded it, go back to your computer and click on the green button that says, I have Duo Mobile. On your mobile device, open the Duo Mobile app and click on the plus sign in the upper right-hand corner. You may be asked to allow access to the camera on your device. Now, scan the barcode that's in the prompt on your computer screen to activate Duo Mobile. You'll see a green check mark when Duo Mobile has been activated. Once you see it, click the Continue button. When the when I log in dropdown appears, select your preferred authentication method. Three options. Ask me to choose an authentication method. Ask me to send this device a Duo push. Automatically call this device. These days, we recommend ask me to choose an authentication method. This will help you customize the service later. Once you've made your selection, scroll down and click continue to log in. you'll now see a message confirming your enrollment in Duo. You can now use Duo to help you log in to your Cal Poly resources. To make using MFA more convenient, you can choose to have Duo remember you for 30 days. When you check the Remember Me for 30 Days box, you only have to authenticate once a month instead of every day. Please note that it's actually that specific browser on that specific device that will remember you. So you may need to repeat the Remember Me process on other browsers or devices. When you're logging in to a Cal Poly resource and you get the MFA prompt on your computer, you may not initially be able to see the Remember Me for 30 Days checkbox if you chose to have Duo automatically send you a push. If you see a blue banner at the bottom of the window, click Cancel. Then you might see another blue banner. Click Dismiss. Now, you should be able to see the checkbox that says, remember me for 30 days. All you have to do is click that box and you won't be prompted to authenticate with Duo for another month. 
Remember, it's actually that specific browser on that specific device that will remember you. So you may need to repeat the remember me process if you use other browsers or devices. For more information about MFA and helpful how-to instructions, visit bit.ly slash calpolymfa. That's bit.ly slash calpolymfa. If you need assistance setting up MFA, you can contact the ITS service desk at service desk at calpoly.edu or 805-756-7000. Thank you for watching. And again, welcome to Cal Poly. Hey there, my name is Rafael. I'm a fourth year journalism transfer student with a minor in Spanish and my pronouns are he, him, his. Thank you for watching the video. Please share any questions or comments you have down below in the comment section and go ahead and click here to subscribe and to watch more videos, click here. If you want to sign up for a virtual visit or talk to any student or staff members, check out our website. Link in the description. Thank you for watching.